In this video, we're gonna learn how to make your own custom cookie cutters for 3D printing. This is a fun project, especially if you wanna learn how to create your own custom cookie cutters, whether for baking, for your own personal use, or even to sell at some point. In addition, I would highly recommend using food safe PLA, especially if you wanna use something specifically for cooking. Otherwise, if you're gonna do this for yourself or your own personal use, then feel free to use whatever you like at your own discretion. But with that said, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it, both using an SVG file, and as well as how to create your own custom cookie cutters, even even if you don't have an SVG file to create one. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump right into the video and get started. So before we get started with this design, I do want to mention I will be using a resource called iconfinder.com. Now, this video is not sponsored by them, but the reason why I am using this resource is because they provide a whole library of assets, both in PNG and as well as SVG format. In addition, I will be using this dinosaur as an example and this T-Rex as an example to show you exactly how to create your own custom cookie cutters, both in SVG and as well as PNG format, or if you have the image or any sort of JPEG for that design. So with that said, when you're ready, let's go ahead and open up Fusion 360 and jump right into it. So here I am within Fusion 360, and the first thing we need to do here is click on Create, New Components, and let's go ahead and name this to Dino SVG. This first one we're going to be using is creating a cookie cutter from an SVG, and press OK. Now from here, let's click on SVG on the top right hand side, click on Insert from my computer, then go ahead and import the asset into Fusion 360. I'm gonna be using this T-Rex as an example as I have the SVG fully downloaded within my computer. Then let's go ahead and select the bottom face within our canvas here. From here, I'm gonna use this square icon on the bottom right hand side, then scale this up to let's just say around two. And you can find this shown here on the scale plane XY. I'm gonna set this to two. And basically what that does is just scales the original size of the SVG. And you actually need to find out what the size of the SVG to properly scale this within Fusion 360. Assuming you already have that, I'm gonna go ahead and import this into my Fusion software and press okay. Now with our design within Fusion, you're presented with a couple of different options. Now, assuming you're using the assets that I mentioned in this video, you can see that there's two profiles here. We have the inner profile of our design, and then we have the outline. Now I quickly wanna mention that this outline here if we were to measure it and actually see the distance between these two lengths here, you can actually see this is around one millimeter thick, give or take one millimeter. Now we can't actually use this thickness here. And the reason for this is because one millimeter is around three layer walls thick. We actually want our walls at least two walls thick. So that way we can actually make our design thin enough to cut into the dough, but not making it too thick where it becomes a little bit too splashy. So let's go ahead and create an outline by pressing O on our keyboard, then selecting the outer edge here, and we can set this to around, let's just say 0.8 millimeters. In addition, you wanna make sure this is actually going outwards, going outside the design. Then once you have your offset, press enter. Then pressing E on our keyboard, we're gonna select this newly created offset, then extrude this up by around 10 millimeters and press okay. The next thing we wanna do here is press O once again, select the top face of our SVG or actually the newly created extrude that we just made then create another offset. And this offset, let's just say is gonna be around 1.75. Now with our offset, pressing E once again, selecting this outer edge or this outer profile. And then let's go ahead and drag this out to around, let's just say negative two millimeters. Make sure the operation is set to join and press okay. From here, we can go ahead and turn off sketch one and sketch two on the left-hand side. Then we can kind of turn off our sketches since we'll no longer need it. Then clicking on bodies, right click on body one, save as mesh. Then we can go ahead and export this to our slicer. And here we have our fully 3D printable cookie cutter inside Bamboo Studio. If we were to give this a quick slice, you can see here is our cookie cutter. Here you have these outer thickened walls here at the right hand side or the outline of this. That way you have something for your hand to hold on to. While you have these thin walls here in the very center, allowing it to cut into the actual product itself. Now, with that said, this is exactly how to make cookie cutters with an SVG file. But what if you don't have an SVG file? So let's go back into Fusion 360 and create another design. To do this, let's hover over to the unsafe portion here, then click on Create, New Components, and I'm gonna go ahead and name this to Dino PNG. Then turning off the first one and making sure the second one is toggled on. From here, let's click on the image icon right here on the right-hand side called Canvas insert from my computer, 
then go ahead and import the image or the asset that you have for that design. I'm going to be using this dinosaur that I found on the asset library that I mentioned earlier as an example. Then from here, let's go ahead and import this into Fusion 360. And let's go ahead and reorient this to get a better look and press OK. So with our design in Fusion 360, in order to create this, what we need to do is to create a sketch and more specifically outline this entire design. And since this image doesn't actually provide any sort of sketch or any sort of sketch details, we'll actually need to manually draw this out. So to do that, click on create sketch, select the bottom plane, then let's go ahead and zoom right in. Now, depending on what you're actually creating, I'm going to be using this control point spline tool, pressing S, type in control, and I'm going to be using this tool called control point spline. And the reason why I'm using this tool is because this tool allows me to kind of draw out the curves of this design and actually make changes on this design later on. So all I'm doing is just kind of jotting out each point along the path of this dinosaur shown here. And for each section that actually has a hard edge, a hard edge, meaning anything between 50 degrees or smaller. So this actually looks more like 50 to 30 and just kind of drawing it out and mapping out the entire design here. Now with our design fully mapped out, we can actually go ahead with our tool and kind of drag the points along the curvature of our design. So regardless of what changes or what dots we actually put on our path, we can actually make these changes and actually kind of curve it along. So that way, if we want to make changes later on, we can actually use these points and kind of shift it around to kind of match up with our product here. So here I have my design fully sketched out within Fusion 360. I think this came out pretty good. So what I'm gonna do now is create an offset for the sketch. Pressing O on our keyboard, then selecting the edge or the line we just created. We're gonna drag this out to let's say negative 0.8 millimeters once again, and press enter. From here, selecting this newly created profile, pressing E. Then let's go ahead and drag this up to let's just say around 10 millimeters. Press okay. Pressing O once again, selecting the top face. It's going to select the outer face or the outer edge here and set this to around, let's just say 1.75. Press OK. With this offset, selecting the profile, pressing E and dragging this down to around negative two millimeters. Press join, set the operation to join on the right hand side and press OK. Now with that done, Go ahead and toggle on the dyno PNG, turn off sketches, then turn off your canvas, then right click on the body for this design. And let's go ahead and import it to our slicer. And here I have my fully 3D printable cookie cutters fully designed within Fusion 360 and ready to be 3D printed. I'm going to go ahead and scale this up just a little bit. That way we can kind of see the final result. So with that said, that pretty much wraps up today's video. In this video, we've learned how to create our own custom cookie cutters with 3D printing. This is a fun personal project that anyone can do to create their own custom cookie cutters. If you plan on recreating these to sell these, I would highly recommend using FoodSafe PLA, which you can find on Amazon and it's fairly inexpensive. But like I mentioned, this is a fun project. And if you plan on using this for yourself with PLA, feel free to do so at your own discretion. But with that said, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe down below. Make sure to check out the 14 day design challenge with link in the description. In this challenge, we go over more advanced and premium tutorials on how to design your own functional and articulated designs. So if you want to get access to that, in addition to a live community and access to my entire library of STL files and designs, make sure to check out that challenge down below in the description. But with that said, thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you guys next one. Take care.